Hey guys, so we have here our JBL Flip 6 wireless Bluetooth speaker and in this video we want to explain to you how to connect this speaker to your Android smartphone. So in this example we're using here the Samsung A10, but it works the same way for any other Android based smartphone. In case you want to connect your Flip 6 with an iPhone or a Windows computer then I suggest you check out my other videos here in the upper right corner. Okay, so now let's get started. The first thing of course we have to do is turn on the speaker and as long as the speaker is brand new it's going to go into the Bluetooth pairing mode automatically. This is indicated here by the blinking Bluetooth button here next to the power button. In case this button for you is not blinking at the moment then just press it once and it will go into the Bluetooth pairing mode and the button is going to start blinking. And for now we are already done with the speaker and we can switch over to our Android phone. And here I am just going to swipe down on the screen in order to find the settings menu. And that's here this little cockwheel icon, we are going to select this to enter the settings menu. And the first item we find here is connections, so we are going to enter that. And in here we find the Bluetooth options, so we are going to enter here Bluetooth and here we can now enable the Bluetooth functionality, making sure this is enabled and now the phone is going to search for our Flip 6 speaker and it already found it here within a couple of seconds and we're just going to click on it and now it is going to pair to the speaker. So now the phone is asking here in this little pop-up at the bottom if you really want to pair. We confirm this and now we are already connected. Here we see this Flip 6 and it is connected to play audio. So now you do notice that this speaker does not come with a built-in microphone which means that we cannot make phone calls with them. So the only option we have here with the speaker is to uh, play back music or audiobooks. Okay, and then also you may notice that this speaker does not transmit the battery percentage of the current state of the battery to the phone and the phone cannot display it here. Usually this phone is able to display the battery percentage of uh, connected Bluetooth devices. Okay, so then the next question you may have is if you have to go through this pairing process every time you want to use a speaker. And the answer to that is no. So the next time you're going to turn on the speaker while your Bluetooth functionality is still enabled on your smartphone, the speaker is automatically reconnecting to the phone and it's immediately ready to be used. Ok, so this was already it for this video. I hope you found the information helpful and if you have any more questions or comments then please leave a message below.